Hi guys, Lisa Laurie here and I'm back with another video. So today I want to talk about um, forgiveness. Well, sort of in a roundabout sort of way. Um, so I have a story for you guys. I'm Catholic, and so I had to go through like ca the catechism classes and confirmation classes and stuff. So confirmation classes are two years. You do one year and then you do the second year. For us, and each year we did a, we did a retreat each year. On my second year, my two-year retreat, we we went to the same place we went for the first year retreat, but we did some different event, different activities actually. One of the activities that we did was they gave us a piece of cardboard and told us to write everything positive that everybody has said about us on one side. And then, so we did that, and they told us to flip the carpet over. And then after we did that, they told us to flip the carpet over, over and on the back side, write everything negative that people have said to you. And for the whole time that everyone else is writing, I'm sitting there trying to think, and I'm like, I can't think of anything. <laughs> it was so funny. I couldn't think of anything negative that anybody had said to me. It wasn't that nobody's ever said anything negative to me. It's just that I couldn't remember. Because, one, people's opinions, I guess this isn't really forgiveness. This is about more like self-worth stuff. Um, because, one, people's opinion of me doesn't matter to me. I don't care what people think of me. You could think I'm, I don't know, I can't think now. I, I don't, I don't, I just, I don't care what people think of me. Um, like, that's their opinion. It has no bearing on me. It has no bearing on how I live my life. If I live, the, if I let what people say about me matter, then I'm letting them control my life. I don't have any control over my life at that point. Um, and two, even if people do say things negative about me, I forgive them immediately because, one, I I kind of understand that people who are mean to you, it's just because they're, like, especially if it's, if you're a kid and it's another kid, like, if you, like, if you're in school and it's a kid, usually they have a terrible home life. So if somebody says something mean to you or they're mean to you, it's usually because things are out of control in their life and this is the only way that they can take control of their life their life by being mean to other people. It doesn't make it right, but I I don't know, I don't I just have a lot of compassion for other people. And so if so yeah, and that's pretty much it. Just don't let what other people think don't let what people say about you, what they think of you. Don't let that matter to you because at the end of the day it doesn't matter. If you let that get to you, you're just letting them control your life and that's that's really sad for you I guess I mean it means you can't really live to your full potential to how you can't do what God wants for your life if you're letting other people's opinions get to you because you're not free so I encourage you to forgive them forgive whoever's hurt you if you've been hurt and yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.